Hey guys, what's up? And PS3D here, and let's get started this amazing tutorial. And let's get started by shooting this whole video. So, first of all, we have wide balance. We have a yellow lens. After that, we start our acting. Start. Do 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 do. Instagram channel is not fun, friends. Phone is fake. After that, oh my brother, the phone went there. बैठ के एकदम कॉर्नर में अब तक गिर जाता नीचे ओके मेन एक्टिंग के ऊपर आते हैं वीडियो को एंजॉय करिए और वीडियो को लाइक करिए ये है पूरा बिहाइंड द सीन ठीक है आई होप कि आपको पसंद आया होगा जी सर लाइक करिएगा जरूर ओ राइट हे गाइज व्हाट्सअप एंड फेस रेडी हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू एन अदर एक्साइटेड विजुअल इफेक्ट ट्यूटोरियल दिस इज अ क्विक होलोग्राम ट्यूटोरियल वेर आई विल सो यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ जस्ट लाइक अ होलोग्राम इफेक्ट लाइक वेयर यू आर स्क्रॉलिंग योर सोशल मीडिया Today I will show you how you can do it easily. So without any more delay, let's get started this this tutorial after this NPS 3D intro. And guys, before moving more further and explaining this tutorial, I would like to share one of my new upcoming course, which is Modern Visual Effect, where I talk more about the visual effect and uh, where i share all of my techniques which i discovered or learned over the years and in in 9 hours of course video you will learn everything so don't forget to check it and uh, uh, yeah let's get started this tutorial after this course teaser you really like it and guys in the upcoming week it will be available publicly so don't forget to check it let me show you what we are going to create today maza nahi aa raha right i hope you really enjoy this review and it's so simple to create let's quickly make it so let me show you my footage ignore my voice over okay and i have one more clip like this one screen record my phone let's drag and drop your clip over here drag and drop to this icon and it will create a new composition and our size is little different like it's a vertical video so i'm going to just drag and drop this tab here so that our composition view will be here and it will be easy to see everything for now i'm going to mute my audio and let's play the footage and let's change this to the half resolution so this is the overall clip now i need a area where i i'm going i'm going to hit like over here let's drag and drop our screen record clip and by the way guys this project file will be available on my patreon page and youtube pro members so don't forget to check it and now let's drag and drop this screen here and i'm going to right click pre comp and move all attribute so it will be inside a comp let's drag this clip this is the frame where i'm going to hit over here just drop your footage here and let's play boom i will simply press f4 and convert this clip into a 3d layer and now i can easily rotate it so i will press r for the rotation and i can rotate this and i can just place it on a position where i like it like i can place it like this way also and just press f4 and change this blending mode to the screen and guys control shift h to hide everything and you are good to go you can see if you think it's looking good you are good to go and just match your footage and that's it it's everything about the tutorial but stick till the end because i will share more tips which can improve your visual effect uh, another level so first i will press r and just change the rotation to zero so it will be default i will just right click go to the transform and reset i will first double tap go inside and here i will select my screen go to the composition size settings and i will make it 720 by 
control shift h now i will simply create a mask over here if i want so let's suppose if i want i can just simply draw a mask till here so i just selected this mask tool and i just draw a mask i will select this screen and just move it over here and perfect let's go back now i will press f4 and already we converted our layer into a 3d layer i'm not going to rotate this uh, picture i'm going to create a new camera so i'll just right click new camera i will use a 15 mm because i use a 16 mm lens for recording so i can make it 16 over here okay hit okay and now i will press c so it will select this camera transform tool okay and now i can just simply orbit my camera here you can see and it's pretty good and this will give you the here you can see this perspective so if you will use this camera tool to change stuff it will look more realistic so first undo this select the camera right click transform and reset whenever you think it's not working good and now let's rotate it here like this way and press c and move it here press c and just scale it down press c one more time like this and this looks pretty okay to me if you want i can just double tap on the camera and make it 20 mm just place it where it look right so this looks pretty okay to me okay here you can see this looks pretty okay control s to save your project so when when i touch it okay so uh, if i press f4 this is set to screen okay let's rotate it even more yeah this looks pretty okay so on here i'm going to uh, you know just simply add a scale to give a transition like it will scale from 0 to 100 so like when i touch like when i touch over here so let's press s for the scale add a keyframe go here and make it zero so here you can see it's really quick if you want you can just select this both key keyframe press f9 go to the graph editor select this and just with shift make it like this way and uh, so play yeah this looks really good now the only thing which we have to do right now is to match this recording okay and for matching this let me roughly guide you what i will do now so here i will freeze frame and then when my when i will go for the scroll then i will use this clip to scroll and first let me find the frame where i'm going to scroll okay so like here i'm going here i am scrolling so i'll double tap here i will simply drag and select this marker over here so i will go over this and control shift d to duplicate this footage and control shift d again and then let's scroll it here and select this right click time and time freeze frame okay so now this frame will be freeze and this is just like this will work like a still image so now let's go to the our footage comp and see what is working boom and scroll it's little late here you can see it's okay over here so i will just simply crop this cut this on this marker and just drag and drop this clip here and hope this time it will work perfect you can see what i have to do now is just i have to follow this my hand movement and i have to uh, animate my clip accordingly okay so here i will do quickly and uh, after that i will come back okay All right, so for now i'm going to use just uh, this this clip okay so that it will be roughly okay for the tutorial purposes okay you can also match more and this will works fine and with camera i'll just pre-comp it one more time okay and now here our footage is pre-comped and now this is like it will behave like a one layer okay let's rename this by pressing enter and let's rename this to effect ctrl d to duplicate this layer and on the below layer i will apply a cc radial fast blur now and it will work perfectly so let me increase the strength and make this to the brightest and here you can see something is happening and now i have to just change this angle and now you can see 
these rays are bouncing towards myself and this is what exactly i want just make it like like down little okay. let's enable our first layer which is on top of this okay and uh, you can also go with this let's select this first one and make it screen and just select the below one press t and down the opacity or you can do what you can do more you can just solo this press add a curse effect and just add some contrast like this way and now let's enable this so it will add some light rays also and it will not add rays everywhere and let me play and see so here i'm going to press t and just down the opacity a bit more so it will be little glow everywhere okay all right so this looks little good to me so let's create a new adjustment layer and just make it glow maybe i will use uh, another glow called optical glow and here just make the size 100 and make the amount 2 percent and this will or maybe 1 percent and it will just add a soft glow on top of our footage and this looks pretty good and maybe i can just simply add a mask where my footage and this stuff is like this and press f and just make it feather and let's uh, enable this glow when our screen is visible here okay let's play and see so this looks little more believable you can see this is not visible so maybe i can just make this amount one and also i can just if go to the this effect one and just make the this amount little higher and just down the intensity here okay. and select this one and press just add a curse effect and just just add some contrast into this footage top footage so it will be visible and all okay perfect and guys in last what i can do more i can just simply add a new adjustment layer and add a effect called lumetri color down a highlight a bit add a contrast into our scene increase a shadow and go to the creative add a, like 50 in a vibrance and 1 to 5 in saturation and go to the curse here and hue and saturation and just add some point where my skin tone is and let's just basically down it desaturate it a bit like this and also for my my sweat t-shirt i'm going to just make it desaturate and here also for this i can go down put the color wheels and here i can just down the shadow increase mid tone and highlight go to the vignette down it and increase the midpoint roundness and feather and this is pretty much it so i hope you can create your own holograms and guys you can also add more stuff this is a, a bonus tip guys let's go to the effect and screen recording where we added our screen let's create a new solid and let's make it white and let's apply a effect called grid and just make it down below okay and make the border too so it will be little little thin and just change it to the width and slider so it will add more resolution over here and now here the grid will be visible okay so this is pretty much it you can also here you can also mask your hand and it will look more good Alright, so thanks for watching my video. Thanks for loving me. I am NPS Ready, and I will see you next time. And guys, whenever you make something, please don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Use hashtag NPS Ready or as the red NPS Ready. And if you are uh, did not subscribe our channel yet, please go and subscribe it. And by the way, guys, this project file will be available on my Patreon page and also on YouTube Pro members. So don't skip or don't you know forget to download it and you are free to play so this is it guys i will see you next time bye bye